Yeah, if you want to have a proctologist view of the world, I guess you can have a pro proctologist. That's an asshole specialist. Uh -huh. If that's the kind of view a, a guy wants to derive by degrees throughout his career, let him do it. One morning, he looked out the window and the guy next door was running around hiding colored eggs in the garden. So he went outside and he said, why are you hiding colored eggs in the garden? And the guy had no idea. Now Jung said that's about as bizarre behavior that a human being could exhibit. It's a runabout at dawn, hiding colored eggs. Who are you? Who are you? You're too human to be human. Lighted sections of different colors. And they say, I didn't see anything. And you say, well, that's not part of the movie. And then you realize this is all a movie to which we obligingly add space and time. He did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash. Animals are innocent. Why should they suffer? Why should children suffer? Will you tell me that? Why should any baby have to suffer and die? Why should men? Oh, come on now. Don't try that one on me. You've got answers for it. Like pain makes people know more. And how could man be more than a talking tennis playing panda bear if it weren't at least for the possibility of suffering? But what about animals, huh? Does pain make turkeys noble? Why is all of creation based on dog-eat-dog? -dog? And the little fish are eaten by the big fish. Animals screaming in pain. All of creation an open wound. A fucking slaughterhouse. We've talked about that. Not enough! We said original sin might be the cause. What was that? Everybody says, what was what? You say, that beam of light. That all those colors and, and lighted sections of different colors. And, and then he remembers what the Bible says, where the world will, will receive it not. It proves the existence of a higher life form somewhere in the universe, evidently here. At least its messenger is here, its logos. It's Did you talk about the moon? Listen, everyone knows the moon is Roquefort. I've come here to talk about Colonel Fell. What about him? Major Namek approached him this morning, complaining of a strange and wondrous illness. And do you know what that heartless butcher prescribed? He said, here, take this. It's a suicide pill with a mild laxative side effect. What kind of bedside manner is that? Break the arrow of peace. Why do you wear that arm down? I was in mourning. For whom? For God. If God exists, then he's a fink, or more likely a foot. <laughs> Just the, well, you mean a psychiatric clinical entity. And these are what Jung called an Archimedean standpoint, you know, to get outside. And from this bizarre standpoint, look in up. Confession of the Crap Art is the best example. That Jack Isidore's bizarre view of their world, mm -hmm. the so called normal world, gives us an insight into him, a bizarre person, a freak. But also, it gives us an elliptical view of ourselves, which gives us insight. We're, right. Either one can be regarded as bizarre in relationship to the other, depending on which one you want to start with. You know, that original sin might be the cause. Then why doesn't Foot just come down and tell us? Is Foot running short of tablets of stone? My Uncle Eddie owns a quarry. I'll get them for him. Wholesale. I'm asking Foot to either shit or get off the pot. Diuretic strange gods have been waiting in line. Maybe God can't interfere in our affairs. So I've noticed. Maybe he can, because to do so would spoil his plan for the future. Some evolution of man and the world so unthinkably beautiful that it's worth all the pain of every suffering thing that ever lived. I say it's spinach into hell with it. <laughs>
different theories as to what happened to him you know that he evolved another step or inhabited and possessed you know by something like the spirit of elijah and he's being talked to by people from beyond the grave or it's god talking to him or so something else from another star system you know and they say i didn't see anything you say well that's not part of the movie and then you realize this is all a movie to which we obligingly add space and time 